Welcome to our second edition of the MSU Mailbag, everybody. My name is Adam Ruff. This is Jason Strayhorn. And with the mailbag, you guys ask the questions. And Jason, say, Jason answers them for us each and every week. You ready to go, Jason? I'm ready to go, Adam. Let's do it. This first question, relatively simple, but might have to jog a few memories for you, Jason. With the 500th game coming up at Spartan Stadium, what is your favorite memory? If you could pick one or maybe two, I'll let you cheat. Yeah, I, you know, I have a lot of memories because I was fortunate enough to be able to play in a lot of great moments at Spartan Stadium and also be a witness to them. And I'll give you my top three, Adam. All right, let's do it. Here are my top three. Number one is 1993. Michigan State plays top ten ranked University of Michigan, stifles Tyrone Wheatley. And oh, yes. with the Michigan State defense led by the late Reggie Garnett and Rob Fredrickson, who was a first-round draft pick by the Raiders, and the quarterback on that team was who our was buddy. That? Jimmy Miller. <laughs> Jim Miller. Shout That's out, right. Jim Ray. Yeah, shout out to Jim Miller. And number two, 1998. I have to I talk about I knew this one was that. coming. I thought you were, this was going to be the one you mentioned. That. Michigan State plays Notre Dame, a heavily favored Notre Dame, under the lights at nighttime yes. and under with an electric crowd going into halftime, 42 to 3. That was an awesome Oof. time. And number three, how could you top 2001? T.J. Duckett. And Jeff Smoker, fourth and goal against the University of Michigan. It just was pandemonium here at Spartan Stadium. That's just a few. The, the clock game. The clock game. Hey, there's, man. A, there's a lot of them. I mean, <laughs> how, how does 2010 and 11 compare to those? I know a lot of people say, oh, 1966, and then yeah. some of the games you mentioned, and then, you know, the Hail Mary game against Wisconsin and Little Giants against Notre Dame. I mean, those were huge, too. I mean, uh, Yeah, you can't forget the Giants and you know, the Hail Mary. Those those are great moments, and I know that it's going to be a lot of people talking about those, but I'm trying to give you some history. Yeah, history lesson right here We're with Jason Drayhorn. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go to question number two. Jason, were you surprised that the Spartans burned Delton Williams' red shirt, or did you kind of see this one coming? Uh, you know, I did see it coming, and, you know, you saw it the potential of Delton Williams the first day he got here on campus. He has that big Le'Veon Bell oh, yeah. type of body, and he runs with bad intentions, which I like to say. <laughs> bad I mean, intentions. This guy, man, he, but he just wanted him to get a little bit more comfortable with the offensive playbook and, I think, the slow progression of Riley Buller at, at the tailback position and subsequent move to the fullback spot helped tip the scales in the favor of burning the red shirt early for Delton Williams and bringing him on into the fray. And you saw some flashes. He had an 11-yard run where he kind of picked his way and bodied up on some guys and put them on the ground. He made a lot of moves. He's just learning. He's just feeling his way out right now. Just wait a minute here. He's going to show some big time. At, absolutely, ability. Jason. He was nine. I had nine carries, 32 yards, and I can only see against this Indiana defense this week. If he gets more opportunities, he's going to do that much better. And uh, earlier this week, we caught up with Delton, and he talked about his first opportunity to get in the game against Iowa. I was just happy to be out there when I first got it. My first touch, it could have been a touchdown. I just was too hyper. I got up in there, and I tripped over with alignment foot, um, feet. So, you know, after that, I came back on the sideline. I'm like, oh, man, I hope I get another chance. I hope I get another chance. When they gave me another chance, I seen that my coaches really – you know, felt something, felt confident in me and, you know, felt some type of way that they need, needed, wanted me out there. So I had to prove myself. So I went out there, settled down and did, you know, did better. Our third and final question for this edition of the MSU Mailbag, Jason, is will the Michigan State defense be as aggressive as it typically is? After all, against a team like Indiana that likes to screen, throw to the flats and run a quick tempo offense, seems pretty dangerous to play aggressively does seem dangerous, but that's exactly what Michigan State needs to do. This is what they did last year. They have to do what they do best, and that's play aggressive. Last year, when you look at the Hoosier game in Bloomington, Michigan State found themselves down 17 to nothing. They are playing that aggressive style, but it wasn't that that was the problem. It was the fact that they weren't playing with enough intensity and playmaking ability and making those hits that they did And when you look at quarters three and four. But they play with that high, intense level of play like they're normally accustomed to. Look out for the Michigan State Spartan defense to shut down the top-ranked Big Ten offense this Saturday. Yeah, and you talk about that, Jason. 280 yards they had in the first half and 17 first down. Second half, 37 yards of total offense. That's a shutdown. It down. worked. They have the, the ingredients to shut them down again. Let's see if they can do it. And earlier this week, a couple of Spartan linebackers talked about what it actually takes to slow down the Hoosiers offensively. 
basically just try to just, uh, try to do what they do, you know, uh, two huddles, try to have people, you know, coming at us all the time, a little extra running, always running to the ball, just things that are, just things that are, just things that help us get ready for the fast tempo. And when you, you go fast tempo, you get a lot of teams out, you know, playing on their heels and not, you know, being able to get lined up and play physical, and that's going to be one of the challenges for us. Um, is to with that fast tempo to be able to play our keys, play our gaps, and, and play as physical as we have been. And that's going to do it for this week's edition of the MSU Mailbag. If you'd like to ask Jason or myself a question for next week's show, all I have to do is hit us up on Twitter, Spartan underscore radio here, jstray79, the jersey number at the end, or on facebook.com slash spartan.sports.network. Ask us questions right there.